what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Poco A5 and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest build of Project Infinity X and that is the 12th June 2025 build and this is the version 2.9 now you might be asking what's special about this build why I'm making this video because you guys might have already seen that on the latest builds play integrity it's actually not passing at all but with this build it has completely or drastically changed everything in the custom roms department but this particular build has the ability to actually make the play integrity stuff totally fixed like three of those basic device and the strong integrity everything will be passed with this specific build and that too without even rooting the device and that is what i root for because i don't root the devices i just flash custom roms and use them as my daily driver on my devices i have tried to look into the change logs of this rom but for some reason they didn't even include the most important point that is it has a key box kind of feature right now which i'll show you obviously but first let me just go into the settings and yeah this is how my settings panel actually looks like because i have customized it to look this way and yeah it gives you that android 10 ish kind of look yes i agree but this is also how it will look in android 16 most probably it has this colorful kind of look and talking about flashing this rom of course the flashing guide will be present in the description and let me tell you that i have actually updated it from the 18th may build to this specific build from recovery and i actually dirty flashed it and that worked perfectly fine so that was a surprise to me that i actually thought that i need to actually clean flash it but yeah dirty flash worked perfectly fine for me i just flashed the format and this specific rom file this 12 june 2025 rom file that actually worked perfectly fine and it did reboot the device in a perfectly mint condition so that is really nice now here we have the latest june 1st 2025 security patch and this is the june 12th build again and you will notice this is the version 2.9 here if i just quickly show you the play integrity stuff now first let me talk about this play integrity api checker kind of thing well right now to get the strong integrity pass you actually need a key box and that key box if you just check it randomly multiple times it may just stop working because google may block it so yeah i won't recommend to check it multiple times throughout the day or something like that do not do that just use your banking apps normally if you are implementing these kind of things in the custom roms but right now i'll just check it because i have already applied the key box and if you just check over here right now as you can see it shows everything passed like the basic integrity the device integrity and even the strong integrity and that is insane guys but let me tell you right after you flash or update to this particular build it won't be like this you need to actually do this at first when you just update it it will only show you that it meets the basic integrity it won't pass the device and strong integrity without the key box kind of file and if you don't know what i'm talking about let me just show you so in the infinity x support page they have mentioned they are only giving it for once and they won't be providing the key box kind of file in the future if it stops working you need to find it on your own so yeah you might be finding it in the support groups of course but if i just go into the support group link over here and i'll just search key box over here and right here it, it will show you this keybox.xml and this is the file i have used over here i'll show you how to use it and it shows the steps to pass actually the strong integrity in this specific infinity x rom so once you download it i have the keybox xml file downloaded right here just ignore these add-on kind of modules these you won't need of course i just have the files right here i'm not rooted or anything i do not have the ksu next or anything i have just used this keybox xml file here now once you have flashed the rom you just go into the infinity suit and go into the miscellaneous settings and go into spoofing and if you just scroll down right here you will see there is this load keybox xml file there is this clear keybox data of course but i haven't done that i have just only used this load keybox xml once you click on it you just go to your preferred download locations of your files and i have just selected this keybox.xml kind of file and after that it just worked perfectly fine for me so yeah that's how i have used this load keybox xml and after i have done that i just rebooted the device and I didn't actually change anything like I didn't update the play integrity fix. I didn't enable this GMS spoof. It was enabled by default and I have all these things enabled. But let me tell you like even without passing all these three things, I have seen like only with the meets basic integrity stuff. I have tried to actually set up the super money app with just the basic integrity passed and that actually worked right now. Earlier the super money app was not simply working. I have shown that in the previous videos in this particular ROM at least. But right now even the super money app 
could be set up and right now of course i have tested all other banking apps like google pay sbi card you know sbi the imobile of icici the super money app the apps like mobi quick and stuff like that everything it's working fine here for example let me actually show you i'm on the custom now of course and right now the you know sbi it's actually working fine apps i have tried to pay with the upi and stuff everything just worked flawlessly even the credit card apps like sbi card even the imobile app all those things are working fine right now with this latest update and that's just amazing that all this are working fine without even rooting the device so this is what i wanted i think that this load key box xml is gonna be implemented in all other roms like evolution x and the other roms and stuff being implemented in other roms like this axion aosp as well because i see it on the change log it says import key box is now fixed and available in spoofing section so yeah it's happening guys it's finally happening that we are getting all these kind of features and yeah banking apps finally supposed to work right out of the box in my opinion but in case if you're wondering in the play store settings yes i know i think i can fix it with something like clearing data and stuff by enabling or disabling something in the spoofing settings i didn't actually do it but yes it still shows device is not certified for me at least in the play store but yeah it didn't affect any kind of banking apps i could actually use the banking apps even without getting all three of the integrity stuff fixed so yeah that is i don't have any complaint regarding that but yes it's insane to see that all three the basic device and strong integrity is right now passed with this specific key box and that too without even rooting enough talk about all these things and of course in case you are wondering about the google photos unlimited backup yes that too it's still there we have this pixel can backup unlimited photos and videos at no extra charge in the battery settings this is how it looks like we have the battery saver the battery manager and even the battery optimization option is there per app you can do there is a charging control as well and there is the per app thermal profiles i haven't enabled that because there is the power tools and with the power tools if you enable the thermal profiles it will act weirdly and there is the battery stats but for some reason there i don't see the battery information kind of window where you can actually see the charging cycles and everything that has been removed it's too early to actually talk about the battery life in this rom because i have already been using this rom for about a day almost it's not proper i would comment on the battery right now but yes it will give you decent kind of performance with the aku battery up right now it may not be correct but it shows about six and a half hours of screen on time and the screen off it's about 28 hours that's more than a day and the combined use shows just nine hours i don't think that's true in the health section for me the battery health shows up as 82 percent these are all again estimated numbers and the fast charging here should be working fine no need to worry about it of course for that just make sure you have disabled the charging control because if you enable that your fast charging speeds will just drop drastically in terms of overall performance i haven't had any kind of issues let me show you with the test of our website for some reason it's not going up it's about 60 fps it shows and if i just turn it off this hdr kind of thing yes right now it goes about 120 110 plus fps so yeah it just goes lower if i just stop scrolling it so yeah that's how it is but if i just open apps like x and even the apps like play store everything just perfectly smooth and just notice the amount of smoothness here switching between apps it's not a problem at all zooming in zooming out everything just works flawlessly here no problems whatsoever it's a very smooth experience and if in case if you would like to know about more features from the recent panel let me actually show you there is the split screen there is the free form there is the lock app well this lock app is actually locked in the memory like if i just click on lock app and clear all the apps from memory as you can see only youtube stays in memory and other apps should be cleared but yes i think i have locked these apps and as you can see yes i have locked these apps that's why they are in memory and just notice the animations here very smooth and here are the android 10 gig build score and the other benchmarks that i've tested on this specific build to get you an idea about the overall ui performance but yeah overall the rom is still amazingly good and everywhere i still feel it's very fast and snappy i didn't face any kind of issues at all everywhere it's just a very smooth experience in the project Android dx and earlier yes there was a freezing issue that i have faced in the previous builds of this rom but right now with this specific build i didn't face any kind of issues the pickup gesture and everything it's working fine and the unlocking animation it's very fast and snappy no issues now let's talk about the stock camera yes it has the like a kind of camera or poco camera you can say it has all these features if you just swipe down and if you swipe up you will get more features like panorama short film slow motion time lapse ai watermark long exposure and stuff like these and there are the portrait mode and stuff and if you just switch to the front camera 
yes portrait mode selfies and everything will be working fine and in the video settings you can shoot up to 4k and 30 fps and 1080p and 60 fps if you switch to 4k with the rear camera you won't be able to shoot 4k and 60 fps but that's fine i guess if you want to shoot 4k 60 i have a gcam kind of video you can check it out from the description and in the documents we have the enhanced mode and stuff there are pro mode videos as well you can shoot pro mode videos if you'd like to but yeah, overall taking a picture and stuff it's very fast and snappy no issues that you will face and the picture quality it's good enough it's a little bit more oversaturated but that's fine because i had the ai kind of camera enabled i think that's why it is a little bit more oversaturated but yeah it's fine camera i would say talking about the quick setting panel i have chose this outline kind of look and it looks like liquid glass maybe not but yeah it just looks closer to that i would say it's a decent kind of looking quick setting panel you can change the whole look of it totally this is not how by default it looks like and yeah i have changed the settings of it that's why it looks like this but yeah you can t totally change the look of the quick setting panel however you would like to like you can have the circle and square kind of designs as well and the power menu looks like this you can have the advanced reboot so that you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from right here and I have tested the 5G speeds and stuff and as you can see it's going up above 400 plus Mbps. So yeah 5G speeds, Volte calling and even 5G calling it's working fine. Like I have 5G enabled but if I just place a call as you can see the call has been placed and even then I have the 5G network. So yeah 5G calling and stuff everything is working fine. No need to worry about it. But of course you need to check beforehand if your area has 5G working properly or not. Now the stock launcher here is the Infinity X kind of launcher and with this we have the MISC settings where we have the hidden product apps that's a uh, app locking kind of stuff and in the recents we have a lot of things and there also we have the app drawer customization and also we have the home screen customization just notice the amount of options yes there is the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen and stuff and there is the icon customization as well and if I just double tap anywhere in the blank area of the home screen it will just lock the device and if I enable the always on display this is how it looks like double tapping to wake works perfectly and just notice the animation how smooth it is so yeah overall it's a very smooth experience and even unlocking from the lock screen looks great the wallpaper that i'm using it's from this ai wall art kind of app i just love how it greets you into the settings with your name and stuff and it shows random messages right here and it shows the wallpaper that you're using and it shows the device name that's Poco F5 for me. In the display settings, this is how it looks like. Now in the dark theme, if you just switch to the normal dark theme, it will be this. And if you just want the pitch black kind of theme, you will select this. And there is a light mode kind of theme. And if you scroll down, we have the lock screen kind of customization. And here we have a lot of things as well. And there is the screen timeout. There is the night light customization. There are the colors kind of customization. We have the vivid saturated standard and stuff whichever you want to use you can use it exteriority engine is also there and there is the refresh rate you can change it up to 60 90 or 120 there is adaptive refresh rate as well there is a display cutout there is a double tap to sleep on the stereo bar and lock screen both we have the prevent accidental wake up bar app refresh rate is there and the display saturation if you don't feel it's enough you can just increase it from here and there is the automatic high brightness mode you can enable it and just change the threshold as you're liking so yeah this is nice there is wallpapers and styles and these are the lock screen clocks of android 15 that you can choose from of course there are the old android 13 kind of clocks as well in case you would like to use those and we have the shortcuts the icons the fonts everything changing option the home screen settings we have the themed icons color contrast and all these things now in the app settings we have the app lock i have already set that up we have the game space as well and you can add any game we also have the clone app so that you can use two accounts of WhatsApp or Facebook or whichever app you would like to. In the system settings, it's really interesting. We have the gesture settings, we have the quick tap and stuff. And if you enable the quick tap, there are a lot of things that you can customize it to. And there are also the quick torch option. And there is the quick loop and camera, one handed mode, double tap to check phone, lift to check phone. And there is a swipe quick screenshot as well that actually is working fine. There is a share, edit, delete, and the Google Lens, even the capture mode feature is there. That's nice. Let me just go back. We have the USB configuration for convenience. You can set it to file transfer. There is also the Infinity X updater. And this is sweet that you can actually check for updates whenever there is a newer one. But I would always recommend to actually update the ROM whenever there is a newer update by manually flashing it. And all the guides for that will be listed in the description. And in the system settings itself, there is a game bar. Once you enable it, this is how it will look like. So once you're playing a game or something, it will come on top, I guess. And it shows the FPS constantly right there. It shows 120 FPS. So yeah, this is nice. 
and here in the sound and vibration settings this is how it looks like there is a media called ring etc volume controls and the dolby atmos is also there so you can use it there are the intelligent equalizer and stuff so yeah these things are still there no need to worry and this is what i have enabled to actually get the colored kind of settings panel we have this settings icon style alpha background colored icon and stuff like that there is the aod customization as well and yeah this rom has huge huge amount of customization but for some reason i do not see the expressive design kind of customization over here for some reason but yeah i think it might be added in the future updates but as of right now even in the theme packs or the setting style anywhere i do not see the expressive design kind of things as of yet but hopefully they will be added in the future updates this is how the notification customization looks like and in the miscellaneous settings we have the ungraded screen record storage encryption we have the smart pixels ignore window secure flags and the hide developer status option is there we have the spoofing kind of settings that i have already showed you and these are the button settings we have the volume percentage and stuff there is the playback control and stuff and in the navigation mode there is the freeform the sidebar kind of option is still there and in the navigation mode in the settings of it we have the taskbar and stuff you can enable there is the pill length and radius customization and yes we still have the circle to search let me actually show you here as you can see circle to search it's working properly and let me just show you one more thing the translate kind of feature yes that too actually working fine as you can see with the circle to search kind of thing so this is insane that we are getting all these things right out of the box here well that pretty much wraps up this video and to conclude let me say it clearly this is really amazing that we have the keybox kind of fix which will actually work in almost all the roms and will be implemented in i think in mostly all the roms and because of that all the banking apps will be starting to work fine in the android 15 and in future i think even android 16 roms will be having banking apps working and we are just so back at this the even strong integrity kind of fix and i'm really really happy about it that even without root right now again we have the good old custom roms kind of experience even with banking apps working because i use the custom roms as my daily driver this is so important to me and huge thanks to the developers to actually implement these kind of stuff these kind of load keybox xml and stuff these kind of like niche things the developers make it possible and even a spoof like this that has been working still from years now huge thanks to the developers who make it possible and huge thanks you guys for watching this video and do share this video with your friends if you want them to know about the latest custom roms on the poco a5 and other devices and please ask in the comments if you have any questions and queries i'll try to reply them all thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kd and exciting for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now